both noise makers, sound devices, and waiting for signs and patterns are not permitted in the gym. Those attempting to use any of these items will be asked to leave the premises. At this time, we respectfully ask everyone to stand for a moment of silence and reflection for family, friends, and loved ones who are no longer with us. If you have not done so, we ask you to remove your hats and face the flag located in the South End of the facility as we honor our country as the United States Marine Corps Band via our electronic transmission, proudly and patriotically plays our national anthem. to welcome everybody back to the 2023-24 winter sports season on WKMC. I'm Aaron Demansky along with Tyler Hodge as Mr. Sakavich finishes the pregame introductions and starting lineups. This will be our first game in 2024. The Red Tornadoes will be hosting the visiting Bloomsburg Panthers. Big Red coming to today's game at 5-5 five and five for Coach Charlie Langton, turning things around and winning their last two against Southern Columbia and South Williamsport, this is their first game since the calendar flipped in 2024. Yeah, and the Panthers come in under coach John Whitman at six and five, losing their last four. The last two are very close games, losses against Central and Loyal Sock. Last year when these two teams met, they split the season series one game apiece. I'm sure tonight will be another great ball game. Always is when these two get together. On the floor for Bloomsburg. Number four, Ali Bang. Five, Maddie Devine. Ten, Bella Pistoia. Fourteen, Tegan Serrano. And 23, Cassie McGinley. For the Tornadoes, two, Ava Chapman. Five, Hannah Forspring. Fifteen, Abby Clocus. Twenty, Sydney Reed. And 22, Anna Grace Renner. We're underway. Mount Carl takes possession. 
Aaron, as you read off the starting lineups there for uh, Bloomsburg, uh, key player out tonight uh, for Bloomsburg, Brenda Zetner, uh, leading scorer for Bloomsburg, will not play tonight. Bloomsburg has it. Now Carmel comes out man to man. Pistoia. Little high horn set they have here. Bloom's running. Dishes to McGinley. She drives. Nice Dishes pass. back. Nice pass there, though. Clocus yeah, with look. the board. Brings it back up for Mount Carmel. Tornado's Whoa. working it around. Early on here in the first. Bloomsburg girls also come out man-to-man -man defense. Looks like they're switching screens. Reed dishes to Clocus. Chapman top of key four spring over to Reed. Back to Ava. Looks like Coach Langton's trying to get a feel to see what they're in here until he gets an offensive set. It's a little dribble handoff here. With uh, Reno in the high post. Alcarmel Reed hands off to Chappie. Looks, looks a little different there. No rush here to attack the basket. They are definitely not as they set up here in their, their possession. Forspring tried to work it inside. It hit off a of 14. Serrano for a bloom out of bounds. Reed's going to inbound for the Big Red. Yeah, from Mount Carmel there, uh, Anna Grace Reno was, was open. Uh, just a nice play by Bloomsburg to get her knee on the ball and knock it out of bounds. Cloak us over to Reed. Nothing different. We'll dribble handoff again. Mount Carmel very patient here. Devine knocked it away for a moment. Chapman has it to Reno. Chapman, top of the key. Drives. It's going to be knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay Mount Carmel's ball. There's a little scrum underneath for it. Tornadoes maintain possession. Reed going to inbound. 551 left in the first. We are scoreless. Inside to Hannah Forspring. Back to Chapman. It's going to be knocked out on Bloomsburg. Mount Carmel remains possession. Nice little give and go there from Forspring to Chapman. Chapman uh, uh, just couldn't get a clean handle on it, and Bloomsburg knocked it out of bounds. Just off the fingertips of McGinley. Reno has it inside. Reed with the shot and nails it. First score of the ball game, two points. Very, very patient offense there by Mount Carmel. They got a good look out of bounds, and Sydney Reed converted. Nice hands there by Clocus up top. Almost she's, got the steal. She's on McGinley. McGinley controlling. They get a walk. Yep. They shuffle their feet. They're going to get a walk. Mount Carmel playing good defense right from the start. <coughs> Clocus bringing it up court for the Tornadoes. Team. They get a jump. Jump ball. That's Number good. four, Ali Bang and, and Renner were tied up. It's going to go down to Bloomsburg. Bloom going to have possession off of the jump. Tornado's up 2 0, five minutes, six seconds left in the first. Early on here at Mount Carmel area. Mount Carmel still stays man to man. McGinley works it inside. Divine doesn't go. Clocus with the board. It's not a good look, though, by Bloomsburg. They're getting to the basket, getting nice looks. Just can't convert right away. Chapman works it inside the four there spring. Foul. They believe that foul is going to be on Pistoia underneath her first. Reed going to inbound for MCA. Looking to go in the four spring again. Hannah back. Loose ball's picked up by Pistoia. She's moving for the Panthers. Kicks it back out. Divine to McGinley. McGinley with the shot. Doesn't go. Bang with the rebound. And bang with the basket. Ties this ball game 2-2. 4-15 left in the first. Another offensive rebound there for... Bloomsburg. 
Boomsburg switched a little 1-3-1 one, one zone. Chapman nails that's, the three. That's the key right there, Aaron. When they, Bloomsburg switched to the 1-3-1 one, one zone, you go to the corner, shoot them out of the zone. Big basket for Ava, 5-2 MCA. Good play. That's a little soccer, soccer skill there Chapman has, kicking the ball out of bounds. Bloomsburg got a 2-1-1 one, one opportunity. Divine to inbound. Nice pass. Wow. Serrano with the bucket. 5-4 MCA, 347 and counting left in the first. Nice set for Bloomsburg out, coming out of that out-of-bounce play. Bloomsburg stays in that 1-3-1. One, one. See if they get back to Chapman in the corner. Reed had an opportunity. Now she'll take it. Reno with the board. This is the Chapman. Oh. What a shot by Chapman. Off of the loose. The ball slipped away a little bit. Grabbed it. Still made control. something happen. Yep, 7-4. Bloom answers. Bloom wasted no time there getting up the court. Right cuts, to the basket. Cuts the lead to one. 7-6. to 3-0-6 and counting. Reed. Clocus back to Reed. Bloomsburg still sitting in their 1-3-1. They're going to get a foul on Devine for Bloomsburg. It's going to be Mount Carmel on a, out of bounds on the side here. And at the inbound, we'd just like to thank our game sponsor tonight, two MCA teaching legends, Mr. Forspring and Mr. Cunningham. Thanks for sponsoring tonight's game. Oh, nice pass by Clocus right between the legs. Oh, huh. that was a little trickery there, right between the legs and I don't think Hannah was ready for that. It's going to be a turnover, that walk from Al Carmel. Serrano going to bring it up the floor for Bloomsburg. They're down one, seven to six. 241 left in the first. Distant inside, Forspring gets it for the Tornadoes. Cloak is going to bring it up past half court. Inside to Anna Grace. Nice defense by Bastoya. Bastoya's having a nice early game for Bloom. She's moving and grooving here. Reed is guarding, bang, she's really controlling. Making a five count here if she don't pick it up. She made the pass. McGinley to the hoop, dishes back out to Pistoia. Pistoia with the shot and the finish. And the girl with different color shoes answers again. <laughs> it's a Bloom is now there, up it? eight to seven, that's, 155 and counting. That's a new trend, Aaron. A couple of our eighth graders that do that, and I, I can't understand it. Well, it's working so far for Pistoia. <laughs> Reed over to Forspring. Looks like they're going to go man here with the minute 40. Her coach John Whitman yelling man up. Coach Langton gets a timeout there. 30-second <coughs> timeout for Coach Langton and Mount Carmel. Their first. And at the timeout, you know, Everyone watching is familiar. It's a new staff for Mount Carmel Area Girls Basketball. Head coach Charlie Langton and assistants, former player Paige Hornig and a former Lords player and teacher at Mount Carmel Area, Kristen Forspring. So wish them well in their inaugural season. Down one right now. One minute 36 left in the first. Yeah, a little slow-paced basketball by both teams there. And you, you look to see Bloomsburg there a couple times. They want to run, but Mount Carmel's hustling back and are converting, not allowing Bloomsburg to get out in transition. Uh, Mount Carmel on the other end on the offense. They are very, very patient, taking their time, getting good looks. Bloomsburg comes out of that timeout. They're, they're in man-to-man -man now. Mount Carmel slowing it down here. Clocus drives and shot. Doesn't go. Chapman dishes it back out. Tornadoes maintain possession. Clocus out the four spring. She drives. Shot and nice it play. falls. Two points for Hannah Four Spring. That's Tornadoes her first two of the game. back up nine to eight. And they come out in a little press here. Good hands. Good defense by Four Spring. She gets it up to Chapman. Under a minute remaining in quarter number one. Tornadoes with that one-point lead, 9-8. to eight. 
Hannah Forspring inside. Nice Another move. basket nice for number move. five. Quick four points there for Hannah. 11 to eight, Mount Carmel area, under 40 seconds. McGinley. Nice take, just couldn't convert. Forspring with the board, up to Chapman. You got a one-on-one. -on -one. Smart senior move there, pulling it out with 30 seconds left. If you're Mount Carmel, you want to take this lead into the second quarter. Anna Grace to Ava. Under 20. Sydney. And we have a whistle. Get a foul underneath. She's going to go to the foul line, get two shots here with 14 seconds left. That foul is going to be on five. That is her third foul of the game for Bloomsburg Panthers. Uh, Maddie Devine. Maddie Devine, her and third foul of the first quarter. Read to the stripe. Sydney knocks down the first. And that foul trouble does cause a substitution for Bloomsburg, number 33, Cameron Patton, onto the floor for the Panthers. Yeah, that's unusual, Aaron. Usually you don't see three fouls in the uh, first quarter by any player. Um, you know, we mentioned in the beginning there, Coach Whitman was playing, you know, looked like he was playing down a little bit. Reno with the board off the missed free throw, but Bloom has it. Pistoia to McGinley. Waning seconds of the first. McGinley's shot doesn't go. Clocus grabs it, and that is the end of the first quarter. Your score at the end of one. Mount Carmel area, Red Tornadoes 12, Bloomsburg Panthers 8. Again, thanks for tuning in to WKMC, our live YouTube broadcast. And at the break, we once again would like to thank our sponsors of tonight's game, Mr. Forspring and Mr. Cunningham. Upcoming on WKMC, just want to let everyone know the next broadcast is going to be Varsity Wrestling on January 11th. And our next basketball broadcast will be two weeks from tonight, Friday, January 19th, boys basketball. Southern Columbia here at Mount Carmel area. Also have the boys on Tuesday, January 23rd against Bloomsburg. Girls basketball, Wednesday, January 31st against Loyal Sock. And we'll have another regular season girls game in February and of course playoffs for any teams when they do advance. Ready to start the second quarter, 12 to eight. Mount Carmel takes possession here. Bloomsburg comes out in man to man defense. They're getting out of that one, three, one zone. They played for a little bit in the first quarter. Four spring. To Chapman. Inside to Reno. And Pistoia grabs it for the Panthers. Good defense by Chapman. She turned it over and got the turnover back herself. Nice defense. That's, that shows hustle there. You, you make a turnover on the offense end, but you hustle back and get the turnover yourself. Good hustle by Chapman. Looking to make something happen after that turnover. Tornado's not in a hurry again. A little dribble handoff set here. Mount Carmel's comfortable just, you know, passing around. Nice cut. Nice cut. She gets rewarded on a foul. Very nice backdoor cut there by Sydney Reed. Going to the foul line to shoot two. That foul is going to be on Bloomsburg, number 23, McGinley. Her first of the game. Reed to the stripe. Sydney knocks down the first, increases the tornado lead to five, 13 to eight. Second one doesn't go, Bloom gets it. Patton had the board, and Pistoia. Nice cut. Looks inside to Ali Bang. McGinley shot, and it falls for Cassie McGinley, cuts the lead to three, 13 to 10.
Nice defense there by 14 for Bloomsburg. Serrano knocked it away out of Abby Kokos' hands. Now Carmo retains possession. Now Carmo to a four high set here. Chapman inside. Hannah with the shot. Doesn't go. McGinley at the board. We have a whistle. We get that foul on four spring from Mount Carmel. Number five, her first of the game. Bloom going to inbound. 631 left until half. 13-10 tornadoes. A little high screen there for Bloomsburg. Nice take. Good use of the screen. Just couldn't convert. Chapman with that last board. Tornadoes have it. Cross half court moving. Clocus, three shot. Doesn't go. McGinley board for Bloom. Up to Bang. And Reno grabs it. Under six minutes. Clocus cross half court. Over to Reed. Nice hands there by 23 McGinley for Bloomsburg. Knocked away by Pistoia. Bloomsburg's gonna get show some pressure here. Reed gonna inbound. McGinley's on her. Reed gets it out of there to Clocus. Nice Inside pass. to Reno. Nice pass. Good ball movement there by Al Carmo out of the out of the inbound <laughs> play. And Reno's gonna head to the stripe. First one doesn't drop. 2 2 is going to get a second shot here. Anna Grace knocks down a second. 14 10 Red Tornadoes. McCarl comes out full court press. Ooh, I almost got a steal. Bang with the shot off the rim. McGinley, three shot off the rim. Follow their own shot, got the rebound. Bloom, not, not as scared Serrano, to shoot it. Off the rim, no good. McGinley controls for Bloom. Oh. They're going to get a jump ball. And it's going to stay Bloomsburg's possession. Patton going to inbound. Bloomsburg going to box set. Stoya. Serrano with the shot, no good. Four spring with the board for the big red. She dishes the Clocus, 15, bring it up across half court. You know, it's something I noticed here. Both Coach Langton and Coach Whitman, ooh, they're gonna get a walk there. But prior to that, not much uh, bench involvement here. Uh, Bloomsburg had to go to the bench because of foul trouble, but uh, Mount Carmel, the same starting five, have played the whole first quarter now and here midway through the second quarter uh, with no substitution. So Coach Langton sticking with his starting five. Doing well so far, four point lead, just under five minutes as we head to half. Patton doesn't go, Reed grabs it, up to Clocus. Inside to Anna Grace. Oh, she walked. Yep. She thought about shooting, turned around, saw the defender. Patton was a little aggressive on defense there, so couldn't get a balance, and of course, Bloom's gonna take the possession over. McGinley gonna inbound. Mount Carmel staying in their full court press. Pistoia, nice Chapman. Hands by Chapman. McGinley has it up to Pistoia. Bang to McGinley. Doesn't go. It's gonna stay Bloomsburg's ball. Patton going to inbound for the Panthers. Ooh, Focus knocked it away there. Bloom's going to maintain possession. 4-13 left until half, 14-10 tornadoes. Bang with the inbound. Serrano 
focus on her. Focus very active up top there. Ooh, yeah. She got a little bit over aggressive there. Just mentioned she was very active. She got a little bit aggressive and when she came in to looked like she was going for a trap there. Just a little little bump. That'll, yeah. be, a, that'll be a foul call. This is our first girls game this year, but that aggressiveness on defense, we noticed that last year continuing over this season for Clocus. Oh, absolutely. And listen, when you it's four minutes and five seconds left in the in a half here and you only pick up one foul, you, you can be aggressive with that. Reed inbounds. Clocus up over half court. Under four minutes. A little dribble handoff, offense set. Now Carmel being very patient. Chapman launches to four spring. Gets her own rebound. Quadruple team and gets it out of there to Reed. Chapman and a whistle. She need a trip. Nice drive though, put her head down, almost like her sister used to do. Put her head down, went to the basket, gets rewarded, gonna shoot two. Chappie to the stripe. Back at the rim, She's gonna get another one. Second shot for number two. That one does drop for Ava. Lead is now 5, 15 to 10. McGinley controlling for the Panthers. Coach Lankton still staying in that full court press. Patton, good steal. Four spring, oh, knocks it away, controls Two it. Two on one. Nice this pass. is the Chapman, and Chapman nice finishes. Pass. Very nice pass by Hannah Four spring there to get to Chapman. Lead increase to seven, 17 to 10. McGinley up to bang. They have a trap opportunity here. Oh, and I think they're going to get a foul on Chapman with the hold. Oh, they got it on Forspring. Okay, so they got it on Hannah Forspring. That's her second. Bang inbounds. Serrano. Good defense there by Reno. Oh, no call. They're letting him play a little bit. Serrano inside the bang. On the line, gonna stay at Bloomsburg's ball. Good hustle to Carmel on the defensive end there. Three minutes until halftime, Tornadoes with a seven point lead, 17 to 10. McGinley gonna inbound for Bloomsburg. Bang with the shot. Four spring board. Good position there by Hannah Forspring to get the rebound. Clocus to Chapman. She's driving. Nice dish. Nice dish. To Reno for the finish. Two very, points for Anna Grace. Very nice pass by the senior Chapman there. Drove to the rim. Gave a little dish to Reno and she converted. And it looks like Coach Whitman yep. is going to get a full timeout we, here. We have a timeout. So Reno oh, 30 definitely, second timeout. definitely made sister Danny Ray happy. She's currently playing for Elizabethtown women's basketball. And they are on the road tomorrow at Wilkes. Should be a good matchup between the Blue Jays and the Colonels. It's only a 30 second timeout for Coach Whitman and Bloomsburg. Now Carmel up 19-10 here with two minutes and 39 seconds. I think your Coach Langton here, you stay in this press. It's, it's given Bloomsburg a little bit of trouble with the aggressiveness of, uh, of Mount Carmel on the defensive end. They are um, starting with Abby Clocus up top. It looks like she's gonna, she's gonna go to the bench though here. Uh, looked like she just got taped up. But very aggressive defense by Abby Chapman. Or Abby Cloca, sorry. <laughs> okay, it looks like Abby, Abby got taped up and subbed right back in before the ball got inbound. After timeout, Bloom has it. Serrano. Clocus on her. Good defense, though. Nothing easy. Bang. Sydney Reed on her. They get a foul. Good take. Nice take there by number four, Ali Bang. She's going to go to the foul line for two. That's going to be Abby Clocus's second foul. So 
the aggressive defense. Uh, she might have to dial back here a little bit with the two minutes and 20 seconds so she doesn't pick up a third. First one doesn't fall. Bang's gonna get another. Chapman board off the second. Up to Clocus. Inside the four spring. And the Converse. finish for Hannah. Up to double digit lead. 21 to 10 as we approach two minutes until halftime. Four spring having a nice first half for the Tornadoes. She's moving very well up the court. Is Abby, or Avi Chapman got that rebound, kicked it up to Abby Clocus, and Hannah Forspring was sprinting down the court, wasted no time, went right to the rim. Stoya. Bang has it on the wing. Top of the key, Serrano. Wolves are being a little patient. McGinley tried to dish it inside, didn't hit. And the Tornadoes have it. Reed gets it up to Clocus. Chapman, shot. Just off the back iron. It's going to be off Hannah for spring. Bloomsburg is going to get possession. McGinley going to inbound. Nice hands. Steal by Cloca. Great She's to play. the hoop. Really McGinley nice. McGinley grabs it. Even though she could convert there. Really nice play. Quick hands by Abby Clocus. That's, I think Abby's going to pick up her third there in frustration. I believe they're going to call this one on Abby Clocus. And it will be her third foul. Um, for Coach Langton, he's going to have to go to the bench here. You want to pick up a fourth with 57 seconds left. Serrano to the stripe. Knocks down the first, cuts the lead to 10, 21 to 11. Bryn Barkavich checking in for the Red Tornadoes. Yeah, that's, that's tough if you're Abby Clocus, Coach Langton there. You pick up the third foul with under a minute. Bang. Doesn't convert on a three. Tornadoes have it under 50 seconds left in the first half. Chapman. Coach Langton barking out orders to his squad here as we approach 40 seconds. Yeah, right here with a 10-point lead with 30 seconds left. I think you might want to hold for this last shot and be, be very happy with the, the lead you built here. They're going to take the shot. Reed doesn't fall. Bloom has it as we approach 20 seconds and we have a whistle. 19.8 to be exact. 21-11 until halftime. They're going to get rewarded here with two shots under the new PIAA rule with the 5,000 a quarter, Aaron. So McGinley, number 23 for Bloomsburg, is going to go to the foul line and shoot two shots. We mentioned that in our last broadcast. The PIAA has changed that rule this year uh, where the fouls reset. Usually everyone's used to seven and a half and it goes to one and one and when it gets to ten it's a double bonus. But this year the PIAA implemented the pretty much the NBA rule where it's five fouls in the quarter, they reset each quarter, and after five fouls by a team, the uh, opposite team will shoot two foul shots. McGinley couldn't convert the stripe. We we're under 15 seconds. Panthers do get it back, and that's McGinley moving up the court. Dishes nice to Bang. Nice pass. And Bang with the finish. So that was a bang at the end of the first half for the Panthers. They cut the lead to eight, 21 to 13. A great first half here at Mount Carmel area. Tornadoes with that eight point lead for Coach Langton. We'll be back after the halftime break for our second half.
just we want to count us in. Hodge just turned his mic on yet. Welcome back to WKMC. We're about to start our second half. Tornado's going to have possession to start the third quarter. And we are underway. Clocus going to control. Bloomsburg coming out aggressive on defense. Gets a stop. It's a five second call. Very good defense by Bloomsburg to start the second half. We had a five second call. And that's a turnover. Gonna be Bloomsbury's ball. McGinley inbounds to Serrano. Looks like Mount Carmel still staying man to man. Off the fingers of Bang, but she maintains control to the hoop. And off of Hannah's leg. They're gonna get a kick. Bloom gonna maintain possession. Just underway here in the third quarter. Devine gonna inbound for the Panthers. She's back on the court in quarter number three. McGinley. Ooh, focus got to be careful. She's playing with two fouls. Don't want to pick a quick one up here in the third third quarter. McGinley dished to Devine. Doesn't tornadoes get it? Clocus up the floor. Tried to go inside the four spring. Good defense. Bloom's going to get it back off the kick. Another two turnovers to start the half from Mount Carmel. Both both created by good defense of Bloomsburg. McGinley, Toronto, Devine, Look opposite, whistle, they jump, Bloomsburg, Mount Carl's going to be careful there on their press, they're looking to really trap, but if uh, Bloomsburg looks opposite, they have a, might have a nice look at a two-on-one opportunity. McGinley, launches inside the Devine, doesn't go, she gets her own board, doesn't go. Ooh, good takeaway. Gonna get a hold. Ooh, a little switch of momentum there. Looked like uh, Anna Grace Reno had the rebound and got it taken away by Pistoia. And then they're gonna get a foul on number 22 from Al Carmel. Anna Grace Reno, her first. Team's first of the second half. Divine inbound. Bang. Off the rim, no good. Reed, board, and a whistle. And they're gonna get a foul going down on Bloomsburg. Good rebound there by Sydney Reed, and they're gonna get that foul on 14 for Bloomsburg, and that's gonna be Serrano, her first. But Mount Carmel's gotta get a good possession here. The first two possessions out of the second half, both turnovers on good defense by Bloomsburg. Reed, over to Forest Spring. She drives to the hoop underneath, oh, and a score for number five. Under. Nice play there by Hannah Forest Spring. A little, little up and under there. Our, Opens up the lead to 10, 23, 13. Panthers on the return. McGinley. Turnover. Goes out of bounds. Tornado's going to have it. Uh, I'll tell you what, Aaron. That play there by Hannah Forspring. Driving to the basket, going baseline. Got a little reverse layup. You don't see that, that too often at this level for the girls, even the boys, with a contested defender on her. But that was a heck of a play there by the sophomore from Mount Carmel. She's having a great game tonight. And she's up to eight points, Aaron, from Mount Carmel. Leading the team right now. Chapman to Clocus. Inside, Bang gets it for Bloom. She's moving. Loose ball and a jump ball. I think the confusion there with uh, Clocus and Chapman there was Chapman gave the head nod. And Clocus saw that, and Clocus threw the ball back door, but Chapman stayed where she was at, resulting in the turnover. But Mount Carmel fortunate to hustle back and get the jump ball. Up over half court. Up to four spring. Chapman dishes the four spring to the hoop shot, nice and she's into double again. digits. 25-13, Mount Carmel area. 5-20 and counting here in the third quarter. And a steal. Take away. Chapman, oh. Chapman didn't see the steal, but she got it back. Well, it's a, it should be a foul. She got bear hugged. Dishes it. I like to see Hannah just keep keep driving here. She hasn't hit three. Off the rim. Another good play there. 
Looked like he was going to be off four spring now. As I said, now a good play there by Hannah, getting a hand on the ball to remain possession, but just looked like she knocked it out of bounds. McGinley going to inbound for the Panthers. She's going to bring it up the court. Serrano. In a trap here. Ooh. Pistoia inside, four spring right there. Good play. Picked it off. Tornadoes have it. Cloak is working it up to Reed. Reed to the hoop and a whistle. Gonna get that on Bloomsburg, number 23, McGinley. Sydney Reed's gonna go to the foul line for two. It's gonna be McGinley's second foul of the game. Reed to the stripe. Knocks it. First one good. Sydney will get a second. That one doesn't fall. Four spring with the board. Tornadoes still have it. Looks like it's just lost out of bounds. Yeah, Bloom's gonna get it. Bloom's works possession. And Coach Whitman's gonna go to the 30-second timeout. First of the second half. <laughs> At the timeout, we once again would like to thank our game sponsors tonight, MCA teachers, Mr. Cunningham and Mr. Forspring for sponsoring tonight's game on WKMC. Yeah, I'm really, really impressed here by the, in the third quarter here by Hannah Forspring, a sophomore, you know, when she puts her head down and goes to the basket, kind of like we mentioned with Chapman, when she puts her head down and goes to the basket, they're determined and they're converting on the little layups and the little runners. Uh, you know, didn't, didn't see much of Hannah Forspring last year. Seeing her this year, she's very athletic, very long. You know, we mentioned her mom was a great player at Lords. Uh, looks like her mom's been uh, coaching her up a little bit. Having a great night tonight. Four minutes, 37 seconds, and counting here in the third. Ooh, just a miscommunication there, turnover out of the timeout. Patton back onto the floor for Bloom. Tornadoes have it, Reed inbounds and to Clocus. Yeah, you see Coach Whitman's frustration over there after the timeout, come out and get a turnover. You know, you never want to see that out of a timeout. Anna Grace, Chapman. Inside, four spring. A little high, high elbow look. Ooh. Another, another miscommunication. That's the second time we've seen that from Mount Carmel. Looks like they're trying to go back door. Um, the first time, Chapman threw it back door. Or Clocus threw it back door to Chapman. Chapman didn't go back door, and at that time it looked like Sydney Reed was cutting to the basket, and Hannah just threw it to where she was. Devine for the Panthers. Drives a little bit, pulls away. Goes back, Devine to the hoop. Shot no good. Reno with the board, falls away. Forspring grabs it to Clocus. Tornado's working it up to Chapman as we're under four minutes here in the third. Reed. Over to Hannah. Chapman inside to Reed. Goes out of bounds. Off Bloomsburg's foot. Tornado's going to maintain possession. Reed to inbound. Clocus for the three. It doesn't go. Chapman grabs a loose ball and gets the Clocus, and she does finish that one for two. Leads up to 15, 28 13 MCA as we approach three minutes in the third. Yeah, you know, as good as defense as Clocus is playing, believe it or not, Aaron, that's her first two points of the basketball game. Nice McGinley take there, follows for Bloom with two more for them. Nice answer by Bloom getting to the basket. 28-15, just under three in the third. You know, I, we mentioned about Mount Carmel putting their head down getting to the basket. It looks like when Bloomsburg does that, they convert too. Uh, both teams, you know, really converting when they can get to the rim. Reno with the shot, and it falls for right. Anna Grace. 30-15, right. to 15, Big Red. It's 8.03 at night, and the banks are still open. Nice little bank shot there by Anna Grace Reno. McGinley. Pistoia doesn't go. Inside, Reno, and there was a scrum for the ball. It was Reno and Patton. Jump ball, gonna stay with Bloomsburg. 
Devine going to inbound into McGinley. Another Forspring rebound. with the rebound. Another rebound by Hannah Forspring. Turnover, Bloom's going to get the ball back. You know, Aaron, <laughs> I was looking there and I was motioning to you, you know, the old saying where ball don't lie. It looked like uh, Abby Clocus crossed the half court mark but was still dribbling in the back court, which, uh, it's, you know, ticky tacky there, but then just threw it away. Serrano with the bucket. She must have talked to the bats at halftime. 30 <laughs> 17, MCA still in the lead. Dribble handoff again. Reed drives, shot, doesn't fall. Divine board for Bloom. McGinley going to work it up the court. Nice block. Nice block by Hannah Forspring. She's doing real well She's underneath. Doing a little bit of everything. Rebounding, block shots, scoring. Reed inside the Chapman. Shot, just short. She gets her, own, her own board, rebound. shot again. With Converts. the finish for number two. Hustle. Nice finish for Ava Chapman. Hustle and determination, Aaron. Missed, missed the layup, but got her own rebound. Might have got fouled, but went right back up and got the two points. 32-17. Bloom answers, 32-19 as we approach one minute left in the third. Both teams picking up the pace a little bit. Chapman, four spring, Reed working around the perimeter. Under 50 seconds. Anna Grace to Ava, Sydney and Hannah. Tornado's in no hurry here, but Hannah goes to the hoop shot and a whistle. Ooh. Shot doesn't fall. Almost converted there for a three-point play, but she'll go to the foul line for two. And that foul for Bloomsburg is going to be on Patton, her second. Team's third. Four springs first. Drops. 33-19. Hannah going to get a second. Seems like the trend for Mount Carmel. They make the first, but can't, can't make the second. Happened Third. a couple times. Serrano shot for Bloom, doesn't go. Jump ball again. Mount Carmel are going to have this one. 25.9 seconds left in the third. Coach Langton is going to get a full timeout here with 25 seconds left with Mount Carmel up, 33-19. Uh, Coach Whitman also went to the bench there to sub back in number four, Ali Bang, right before the timeout. I think uh, after seeing the first quarter possession and the second quarter possession with uh, under 30 seconds left, I think Coach Langton here is going to draw something up for the last second shot. I don't think, uh, you know, you don't want to give Bloomsburg any momentum going into the fourth quarter here, you know, with the 33-19 lead. You know, kind of go down here, you know. Bloomsburg hasn't been pressuring too much. You know, Mount Carl's been able to get in that dribble handoff set. You maybe come out and run some of that until, you know, about 15 seconds and then get into your offensive set for Coach Langton and the Lady Red. Yeah, commanding 14-point lead for Uncle Charlie and the troops. Gonna hope to add to that as we wind down our third quarter. We talked about the coaching staff for girls basketball, but two mainstays also here at home. Scorekeeper Butch Ferrano and scoreboard operator Joe Gallagher. I'd like to welcome them back for the new season of MCA basketball. It looks like Bloomsburg might show a little pressure after we just mentioned they haven't shown much yet. See if they can get a turnover. And a walk. They did. <laughs> well, Aaron, I don't know if... Uh, Coach Whitman has a earpiece over there. Can hear us. We mentioned that they haven't shown much, you know, full court pressure there. They came out in a one-three-one zone. They went to the man-to-man, -man. and right there, Coach Whitman out of timeout, full court press, gets a turnover and has possession. Serrano going to inbound to McGinley. A trap. Good pass Back out of it. Serrano. Pistoia launches it. 
and it goes out of bounds. North Carmel still with six seconds. Plenty of time to get the ball up the court and get a good shot. Don't have to force one yet. You got to move, though. Yeah, Chapman. Steep, oh, almost with a steal. Clocus kept it. Uh, they're going to take the lead. Yep. End of the third quarter, Mount Carmel area 33, Bloomsburg 19, one quarter left, Hodge. And this game, Tornado's with a big lead, but Bloomsburg's still lurking in the weeds as we head into the fourth. And, you know, they're not giving up by any means. Um, of course, they're missing their big gun, Brenna Zetner, tonight. And the Tornadoes have played very, very well so far here at home. Absolutely. It was a huge, huge uh, third quarter there by the sophomore, Hannah Forspring. We mentioned that she did a little bit of everything. She was scoring. Uh, <clears throat> just there in the third quarter, she led the team with five points, uh, leading the team with 11 points overall. Uh, but, you know, it's a, again, for Mount Carmel, it's a team effort. Uh, you know, we mentioned this last year, Aaron, when we had uh, Coach Lisa Verano. You know, everybody is involved, you know, whether it's the full court press or the man to man. They're very very good at communicating, you know, switches screens, playing help defense. Uh, we've seen that a couple times with Anna Grace Reno and Hannah Forspring sliding in, making some nice blocks on plays. Uh, and, you know, Coach Langton in the third quarter uh, drew back the full court press a little bit, you know, towards the end of the third quarter. Uh, might see him go back to it a little bit to put some pressure on Bloomsburg, you know, leading 33 to 19. And see if Bloomsburg can capitalize on it. I mean, it, they got lucky there because they had the... Uh, the, four, the three fouls on Divine there, uh, you know, in the first half, but she didn't foul at all there, so she's she's free to go here in the fourth quarter. Bloom has it, McGinley. Clocus is on her. Inside to Divine. There it is, right away. Blocked by Reno. Tornadoes have it. Chapman on the move up to Clocus. Team effort. Back to Chapman. Over to Reed, four spring. I think you're going to see Mount Carmel here. Aaron, be very patient. Loose ball, probably gonna have a jump. And there he is. Yep. It's gonna stay Mount Carmel's possession. As we just saw Bloomsburg get the uh, opening quarter possession. But you mentioned there, you know, good defense there by Bloom, but I think you're gonna see Mount Carmel be a little patient here. You know, try to get, you know, like we saw in the first quarter, try to get a couple good looks, don't force anything. Clocus to Chapman. Shot doesn't go. Pistoia with the board. She's on the move. You know, on the other end, on the other side for Bloom, you're going to see some urgency here. They're going to have to push the ball up, you know, trailing 33 to 19 with seven minutes left. McGinley Good doesn't take. fall. And unfortunately, it didn't fall there for McGinley, but it's a good take. You know, to get to the basket, you know, we saw it happen a little bit earlier in the game where they've been converting on it. Reed going to inbound, gets it into Clocus. Back to Reed. Four spring. Up over half court to Chapman. Anna Grace. Anna Grace to the hoop, shot, and, and it, it falls. Great press break there. For 22, 35 19. Two point basket for Reno. 16 point lead for the Tornadoes. Yeah, we mentioned it. She's another player from Mount Carmel, doing a little bit of everything. It's up to seven points on the game. Countless amount of blocks. Ooh, I think we're in the middle of uh, my stat line for Anna Grace Reno. I think we're going to get a technical on the Bloomsburg head coach. So as I was praising Anna Grace, we, we, we missed what happened there. There was a technical uh, on Coach Whitman. He's going to have to sit down He's not allowed to stand for the rest of the game, and Chapman's going to go to the foul line for two foul shots and possession. Davis first. Off the rim. Here comes a second. Also off the rim. Tornado's going to still have, as you mentioned, Hodge possession here following the technical. 6.40 left in the ball game. Tornado's up 35-19. Reed going to inbound. Clocus. Chapman. Reno. Shot. Off the glass doesn't go. Board by Divine for Bloom. 
She's working it to Pistoia with the shot. Doesn't go. Rebound, get Reed. Over, trying to get over the back there on 33 for Bloomsburg Patton. No Carmel possession. Now, they've been throwing the ball back and forth to Chapman, or to Clocus and Reed here. I was going to say, Chapman's been wide open here. A little give and go action. Good Up press to Reed. Break. Chapman. Shot. Just short. McGinley for Bloom. Works it up the floor to Serrano. No bucket. Chapman gets it back for the Big Red. Nice Tried to play. work it up to Clocus. McGinley gets it for Bloomsburg. A little back and forth here. McGinley to Devine. Turn into a track meet. Pistoia, Ooh. and we have a whistle. Pistoia's going to go to the foul line for three. We get that foul on Chapman. Her second. Team's first. Still have four to give before that uh, new rule for the two foul shots. Pistoia drops the, the first. The short. S second one does not fall. She'll get one more. Rebound by Hannah Forspring. Lead is 15, 35, 20 after Pistoia's performance at the line. Tornadoes have it inside. Ooh. Anna Grace just off their fingertips, but Forspring grabbed it. Tornadoes still have it. Clocus works it around the Chapman. Reed calling for it. She gets it. Shoots a three just off the rim for Sydney. Good rebound. Ran over to Clocus back inside. Reed, three shot again. Mount Doesn't Carmel go. Right Four there. springboard, and we have a whistle. Mount Carmel ve getting very good possession on the offensive rebounds. That was two offensive rebounds there. One by Anna Grace Reno, another one by Hannah Forspring. Hannah Forspring going to go to the foul line. Two foul shots. Forspring drops the first. Increases the lead to 16. Second one doesn't go. Pistoia has it for Bloom. She takes a three shot. Just rims out. Reno grabs the loose ball, works it up to Chapman. Across half court. Four spring. Just under five minutes left in this one. Yeah, Mount Carmel's gonna slow it down here. You know, 16 point lead with under five minutes. We get a foul away from the basket, number five. Devine had a jump on it. Her hand got stuck in there. And of course, that's what got the foul. That's her fourth. One more, and Mount Carmel will be shooting two the rest of the way. That's Bloomsbury's fourth team foul. Clocus. Loose ball. Serrano chasing it with Clocus. We do have a whistle at the end of that. Looks like they're going to get a foul there on... <laughs> I believe Chapman. Devine going to inbound for Bloom. McGinley with the shot. And that one drops for number 23, Cassie McGinley. And if you're watching, Bloomsburg does have some familiar Coal Region names. McGinley probably the most familiar. Does have family ties in the Mount Carmel area, traced back to Centralia. Chapman also has roots back to Centralia. She has a bucket for the Big Red, 38-22. Nice hands by Clocus. Clocus on the move. Oh. It's the second time and they're going to hit the foul on Clocus. That's very quick hands there by Abby Clocus. Again, it's her second time. She got a steal up top there. That time she just was a little short on the layup and then picks up her fourth foul. That'll be Mount Carmel's third team foul. Mount Carmel, they, they still like Serrano. looking a little rushed. Just slow it down a little bit, take this lead. 
Clocus was definitely angry that last one didn't fall. She, <laughs> she got the steal here. She's on the move. She's playing determined. She's going right and to the, the rim. shot would have been nice if that fell, but it just didn't. She's, Pistoia gets it for Bloom. Very aggressive here. You just, you just got to watch this. She don't fell out away from the basket. You get a jump. They're going to get a jump. It's going to stay Bloomsburg's possession. 38-22. Mount Carmel area ahead in this one. 3.47 left. Bloom inbounds. McGinley with the shot. Doesn't fall. Forspring with the board. And after that board, we'd like to thank again our game sponsors, teachers, Mr. Cunningham and Mr. Forspring at Mount Carmel area for sponsoring tonight's game on WKMC. Clocus. Forspring. Chapman. Up to Reed. Reed to the hoop. They fouled before they, the shot. It's going to be on the floor. We'll see who they call it on. Going to get that foul on number 10, Pistoia. It's going to be two shots from Al Carmel there. We mentioned the fifth foul of the quarter. So Sidney Reed's going to shoot two. Reed to the stripe. That takes some getting used to, Aaron. You, you're, we're used to seven for the one and one and the 10 when it's. Uh, Two shots. Now it's the new rule. It's five shots and or five fouls, and you get two shots. Sydney drops that one, 39-22. Real nice job informing our viewers too, Hodge, of the rule change. They're well aware yeah. of the new change for this year. We got caught off guard at the boys Shimoka game with that. I was a little confused there, but I remembered uh, in our coaches' meeting they uh, they told us that new rule. Sydney knocked down the second, 40 to 22. Red tornadoes as we approach three minutes. Nice shot. Pistoia knocks that down. Two for the Panthers, 40 to 24. Bloomsburg coming in full court press. They have Chapman leaking down. Reed gets it up to Chapman. Doesn't finish. Randall gets the board at the end. Good Puts hustle. back for Anna Grace, 42-24, as we're under three left in the fourth. Very good hustle there by Anna Grace to get the rebound. and. It I heard somebody in the crowd yell, put it back up. She did. <laughs> Pistoia. Reno grabs it. Tornadoes have it. Reed to Clocus. Knocked away. Mount Carmel is going to maintain possession. Coach Langton looked like he, he wanted a foul there. I mean... 42-24, not much to complain about, right, Eric? Now Big Red's playing good tonight. Nice pass. Ooh, got away with a walk. McGinley grabs it for Bloom. To Pistoia, she's going to shoot it. Reed with the board. Tornadoes have it. Clocus up over half court as we approach two minutes left in this one. Out to Reed. Under two minutes. Yeah, you, got, you got to give credit to both teams, Aaron. Both teams only went one off the bench the entire game. And it's, it's not easy when you're, uh, you know, playing both ways the entire time. Playing Both teams mostly played man-to-man. -man. Uh, you got to give credit to the conditioning on both teams because you, know, you look at the bench, there's only one girl on each side with a warm-up off. And, you know, that's, that's credit to the girls' work ethic and practice. Four spring with the board, and we do have a whistle. See that. They're going to get that foul on 33, Patton. Her third. Hannah to the stripe. Sinks that one. Timeout, Bloomsburg. Coach Whitman's going to get timeout, and looks like he's going to utilize his bench here. 125 left in this one, 43 24. Red Tornadoes. Just again to remind our viewers, upcoming broadcasts. The next one's going to be wrestling on January 11th against North Schuylkill. And our next basketball game is going to be in two weeks 
Friday, January 19th, boys basketball against Southern Columbia. And that's going to be a rematch of a great one this week. Tornadoes knocked off Southern at Southern, so this one will be at Mount Carmel area Friday, January the 19th. At the end of this game, stick around for some stats, and we're also going to award our player of the game at the conclusion of this one. Rims out, Pastoya grabs it. Nice pass. Reed with the board. Chapman. Yeah, Aaron, we mentioned at the beginning of our broadcast, we noticed uh, for Bloomsburg that Brenna Zettner, their leading scorer, uh, was out for the game. Um, not sure of the extent of her injury, but if uh, she is able to come back, I know um, I just asked one of their fans, she is committed to Millersville to play college basketball. Um, if she is able to come back, um, you know, it might be an entire game changer for Bloomsburg and, uh, you know, Coach Whitman and his Panthers. You know, Mount Carmel will see them again. Uh, be interested to see if uh, Brenna Zittner can come back and uh, give them the spark. That rematch later in January, 24th at Bloomsburg. Doesn't go as we approach 30 seconds. McGinley. Shot. Patton with the board. She shoots it. Under 20 seconds. Reed has it for the Red Tornadoes. Look to see Mount Carmel just dribble it out here. Under 10 seconds. Senior Reed going to control it. And that will wrap up this one, Hodge. Final score from Mount Carmel area. The Red Tornadoes, 43, visiting Bloomsburg Panthers, 24. Big win for the Tornadoes. They improve to 6-5 and five on the season. Bloomsburg will fall to 6-6. Six and six. Girls Hoops will be back in action on January 9th. Next week at Warrior Run. Also on the road next week on the 12th of January at Loyal Sock. Ready to break down some stats? Yeah, from Mount Carmel. I mean, led by a sophomore, Hannah Forspring of 14 points. We mentioned she did a little bit of everything, you know, on a defensive end, on a rebounding side, a couple offensive rebounds and putbacks. Also, the senior, Ava Chapman, 12 points. You know, she does a little bit of everything, you know, playing defense, communicating, talking, uh, had a couple steals. Uh, from Al Carwin and a Grace Reno. You know, the stat line might not show it. She had seven points, but the way she played defense, the way she got some offensive rebounds from Al Carmel, uh, you know, could have had some other opportunities where to, you know, put it back up where we heard uh, Fan yell in the crowd for Anna Grace. Uh, she, that'll come with time. She'll get used to it and, you know, she'll start scoring. And then for Bloomsburg, uh, Bella Pastoya led the team with seven points. Uh, really did a little bit of everything out there for, for Coach Whitman and Bloomsburg uh, with the absence of uh, Brenna Zetner. Thanks for those stats, and fittingly, the player of the game, we're going to have various businesses do our player of the game this season. Tornado Tavern is first up. New business in Mount Carmel area, if you want to stop and check it out. The Ryans established that, so our Tornado Tavern player of the game, number five, Hannah Forspring for the Red Tornadoes. 14 points, and as you noted earlier, Hodge, a little bit of everything tonight. She did a really good job, and that is our player of the game, and it definitely made her parents proud. Assistant coach Kristen and dad sponsored the game tonight along with Mr. Cunningham on air. So once again, thank you to Mr. Forspring and Mr. Cunningham for sponsoring tonight's game on WKMC. Just want to give a shout-out to our crew, Nevaeh Catalinas, Alora Burns, and Jen Andrus on our cameras tonight, doing a great job. Graphics, Isabella Jakuk. All under the direction of Mr. Steve Sakaitis for Tyler Hodge. I'm Aaron Demansky, and it is a great night to be a Red Tornado.